Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo. We're here at the South Park Center and I'm delighted to be joined with Max with his movie, Peaches. Let's take a look at the clip. I'm homeless. Oh. I... Sorry, I... No, it's, um... I'm sorry, this is really nice of you. I just... You don't have to apologize, it's okay. I didn't know, I was... It's a nice mug. Uh, Max, I'm so happy. We're doing this in person. Yeah. How exciting. Um, firstly, thank you so much for your film, but you know, importantly, thank you for your service because you're part of our incredible veteran uh, cinema program every year. So thank you very much for all that you've done and the fact that you're an amazing filmmaker. Uh, so, you know, what happens when you got it? But just going on, for those that haven't seen Peaches, tell us a brief synopsis. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you and to the crew and everybody, new filmmakers for having us. Of course. Um, Peaches is about a homeless man trying to feed his dog. And he finds that way through, at first, you know, applying and being, well, his own self-rejection, and then going back um, and getting that job so he can feed his dog. I, I mean, it's, it's such it's a, such a great story. Like, I mean, I was just I was just in there, and I wanted to kind of be in it for longer because I was just really enjoying this this whole process and the relationship between him and the dog. Um, where did the inspiration come for you in creating this project? Absolutely. Um, I had met the director Jared Janushka at a film festival, and we had spoken over the years of doing some project with some type of social standing. And homelessness, as we live in Los Angeles, exactly. Um, We're in the center point right here, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, don't wanna say ground zero, but. Yeah, yeah, it's For true. lack of a better term, it is. And um, when I was trying to come up with a budget and actually find actors and a crew for this, we decided together to make homelessness the centerpiece of the story. Yeah. But we didn't want it to necessarily be the focus. The word heartwarming comes up uh, that you mentioned, and we wanted this to be um, a heartwarming tale. A lot of times, homelessness is depicted through this raw lens, mm -hmm. and we want to tell a story of hope. Mm -hmm. And as we watch, uh, Eric find a job for Peaches, and you know he looks in himself. Um, you know, we all build ourselves in mental prisons, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully through watching Eric escape his, you know the viewer can do the same thing. Absolutely, I'm so glad because you know many people are going through many things, and also you know not speaking about what maybe is going on in your life or not having anyone to sort of speak to in that particular moment and how things can just suddenly spiral out of control. You know, I'm kind of obsessed with the story because I think it's a really important one to tell. Oh um, but um, no, of course, but like from the, you know, as a, as a director, when you're talking about subjects like this and particularly, you know, the kind of intensity and the stakes are high for obviously the main character, how is your approach as a director? Like, do you let things play? Do you have rehearsal? What's your kind of process? Yeah, absolutely. So, my director, Jared Janushka, the, I think from, from a producer standpoint, when it comes to picking a director, I think, you know, you have to find the right tool for the right job. Um, Jared is, has a phenomenal eye and is really someone that knows how to pull the best performance out of the actor. And I really look for that because the vibe has to be right for the scene. He's also very technically gifted and was also able to help me um, understand a lot of the things that were going on in production. Yeah. Um, for Peaches, he was coming off of, he had already done a feature length film and uh, a feature length film called Shooting in Vain. Jared, you're welcome for the plug. <laughs> um, and, uh, it was a very raw, intense film, and I wanted that warmth, that that heart, you know, that heartfelt story. Yeah. And we went through 
I want to say six months of just getting the script just right, getting the shots just right before, and this was at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. A um, lot of struggle, a lot of contingencies went into um, this because a lot of the shots are just, they're, they're, yeah. they're one continuous take. Yeah. Um, and so the, the film definitely benefited from Jared's experience yeah. and, his, and his hand. Yeah. In it. So, um, you know, I, I was very fortunate and the I would want to say that just the the crew we shot this in Boulder, Colorado. Um my first short film. Um and uh I, I wanna say the crew also benefited from from him really taking charge yeah. on set. So I mean, hey, it it it, it worked. It worked, it worked well. I um, am so curious because I, you know, I think it's so wonderful that there are so many people that have served this country that have gone into entertainment. I think it's so gratifying because there's so much an array of talent. And, and I think a, you know, a discipline, a patience, a perseverance, like I'm respectfully like, I'm sure filmmaking feels a lot easier, you know, in some respects, and you can kind of take down some of the egos that exist in Hollywood, and you know, because you've had to go for a lot more things in in, in life and in, in your job. Um, but now you're in filmmaking and making these great films and great stories. I'm just curious for you, like in your career, you know, now moving forward, like what kind of stories do you want to tell? I like true stories or stories that could be true, humanistic but simplistic stories. Peaches is an example, but I also want to be a part of and produce uh, stories across across the spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, we just wrapped on, well, not wrapped, but we're in um, we're rendering. We're in the process of starting to render uh, another short film uh, called They See You, which is um, a supernatural thriller. Uh, with an LGBTQ plus focus. Oh, awesome. Yeah, very excited for that when it's done. Can't wait to show you. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I like stories because I believe content should be seen by as many eyeballs as possible. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and there's so much teaching in there, but it also makes people feel like they're being seen and heard, you know, as well, which is so as a you know, it's, it's fantastic. And for you as a filmmaker thus far, as obviously we have a filmmaking audience, like, do you have any kind of advice that you would share for the in your career? Yeah. Um, yes, he's, he's like, you're ready. You're yeah, ready for no, that I'm, answer, I'm, I love it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and um, this is just for my, I have to preference this, because I was in the military for like seven years. Um, I've only been doing this for like three. Um, in between being a filmmaker um, I'm also an assistant, so it's like there is that balance. Um, two of the biggest things I would say are use your time wisely and treat everybody fairly. Um, just what I've seen in just the three years of living here in Los Angeles, you're going to, see, you're going to either see or hear people's names uh, more times than you think. You're gonna run into people that you might have like seen in the hallway or seen at a restaurant or a bar or on the street. Somebody you, in passing, somebody might be a PA on something. You 100%. Never know. And um, you know, that's why it's important to treat everybody fairly. It's not too much to ask, is it? I don't think so. At all. No, it's really not, you know? I, I say to everyone in our cast, we've got high school students here, we've got interns here. I hope they remember us when they're our bosses in 10 years' yeah, time, you know what I mean? So absolutely, I mean, it's not, I mean, I think that also makes a more fruitful set. Um, you know, working together, you're building on together, you treat everyone fairly. So I, I really do love that you mentioned that. Well, well, I just want to say thank you uh, for bringing Peaches to us. It's, it's a really great, relevant story and a story that, you know, is an important one to tell on many different levels. And I think not to, you know, judge a book by its cover and what one's going through and, and the state of mental health and just trying to be a more active and kind, supporting human being. So, so really thank you much for making Peaches and to you and your team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.